The Sea Life Center in Seward is perched above the chilly waters of Resurrection Bay. The resident fish, seals, and octopus thrive in the cold water from the bay. And now, the aquarium's visitors are relying on that same water for heat. The basis of this whole heat pump system is Resurrection Bay. That's the source of ocean heat that we're using. It's about 52 degrees. That's Andy Baker. His Anchorage-based company, Your Clean Energy, designed and installed the heat pumps at the aquarium. Most people would say 52 degrees doesn't seem very hot. While it feels cold, uh, especially if you swam in there, for a heat pump, they like to see source temperatures of 35 degrees or warmer. Baker encourages me to think of the bay as a giant solar battery, storing energy generated 4,000 miles away. We're allowing the, the sun to heat the ocean at the equator. The natural gyres are moving that heat up to Alaska. So heat is coming to Seward, all that direction, free of charge and the bay is the storage facility. Not only does the center use this natural source of energy to heat its entire building, but it treats the heat pump as a demonstration project, another way to share scientific knowledge with the wider Alaskan community. So we're gonna do a tour today uh, through the heating plant of the Sea Life Center, which is basically borrowing heat from the ocean. A really good analogy is uh, your refrigerator at home. If you came home with a six pack of warm beer, and you put it in your refrigerator. The refrigerator sucks the warmth from that beer, with the help of a chemical refrigerant, into a pump and turns it into vapor. And then that heat from that hot vapor is rejected out into your kitchen floor. That's why there's warm air coming out of the bottom of your refrigerator. That warm air is the heat that was extracted from the beer. We're just simply taking the heat out of the ocean and rejecting it at a higher temperature into the building. Baker says heat pumps are a lot more efficient than traditional heating sources. It's not a free lunch, and we have to put electrical energy into the heat pumps, but the fact is that we put in one unit of energy into driving these pumps, and we get two to three units of energy out. So we're running between 200% and 300% efficiency. That's a lot better than an 85% oil boiler or a 100% electric boiler. Those efficiency gains, plus not having to purchase and store heating oil, have saved the center a lot of money. The over $1.4 million cost of the system was covered largely by grants. Despite high upfront costs, Baker says this type of heat system has a lot of potential in coastal communities in Alaska, Washington, Oregon, and Northern California. If you have questions about the heat pump at the Seward Sea Life Center, post them in the comments section and we'll get back to you. Also, be sure to subscribe to our new channel. We'll be bringing you videos about emerging energy projects in the last frontier and keeping you up to date on the latest energy and environment news in Alaska.